In today's episode of Alpha Quick Tips, I'm gonna share a super easy composition tip that you can use to get better headshots and portraits in general. Anytime I'm taking a portrait, there's a handy feature that I use on my Sony cameras that helps me to get great compositions in camera, and that's by enabling and using grid lines. I'm gonna show you how to set it up, and then I'll show you how I use it in my own portrait work. I'll be demonstrating this on my Sony ZV-1, but the process will be similar on most of the lineup that Sony offers. To begin, we'll click on the menu button and navigate over to the second top menu. Using our dial, we'll navigate to page seven and scroll down to the option that says grid line. By default, it's turned off, so you'll want to select this and pick the first option, which should be Rule of Thirds Grid. Once you go back to your screen, you'll notice that you have these lines that kind of look like a game of tic-tac-toe. It's all set up and ready to go at this point. The question then becomes, how do you use it to get great portraits? Well, in my own work, I tend to line up the top line of the rule of thirds grid to line up somewhere slightly above, below, or right through the eyes of the person that I'm photographing. This, of course, is how I compose my headshots to ensure that I don't have too much empty space above the person's head. When I'm shooting a three quarter length shot, which uh, would be a crop just above the knee, I try to compose the shot by putting the person's torso somewhere in the middle of that rule of thirds grid. If you're using a longer lens like I personally like to use, you'll get a nice crop where the subject fills the frame for maximum impact. The grid line also helps to ensure that your horizon lines are straight, giving you better symmetry in your images. So I want to know, do you use the grid lines feature in your own work? Let me know if you do and which one that you prefer based on your type of photography in the comment section below. Subscribe to the Alpha Universe channel for more tips and tricks and the latest news on everything from Sony. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.